unpopular opinion that I'm trying to make popular. For anyone wanting to see Meryl Streep in her late 80s, early 90s blockbuster era, it is not Death Becomes Her. That movie belongs to Isabella Rossellini with Goldie Hawn making a soft summer salad out of the scraps. If you want, and I mean really want to see Meryl in her peak mode from this era, it is 1989's She Devil. In it, she plays a horny, home-wrecking romance novelist named Mary Fisher in the vein of Danielle Steele, Jackie Collins, and Barbara Cartland, whose wardrobe looks like it was designed using the prompt, Miss Piggy, but for a human woman. Roseanne Barr stars as the co-lead, a discarded housewife named Ruth Patchett who runs an ingenious long game of revenge against Meryl, and turns in a performance that is understated, nuanced, and yes, even demure, demure. by comparison. Her two-timing husband, Bob, is played by Ed Bagley Jr. Uh, more like Ed Teabag Me Jr. because, honey, <gasps> rounding out the cast is Salty Warhol Muse and Oscar nominee Sylvia Miles as Meryl's vindictive mother. Gender-bending Oscar winner Linda Hunt as Roseanne's right-hand gal. Stalwart character actress Mary Louise Wilson. Sarah Blank herself, Deborah Rush. Betty Gilpin's father. This, I assume, former member of Menudo. This blonde lady who I feel I've seen in everything, yet nothing at the same time. Cameos by real-life Robin Leach, Sally Jesse Raphael, and the ladies of Glow. That is two Betty Gilpin connections. It was a solid women's story decades before its time. If it was remade today with Nicole Kidman and Melissa McCarthy, it would open to a billion dollars at the box office. But for now, this will go down as Meryl Streep's Mommy Dearest.